Howdy STEM friends. I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy. Uh, I got another feature Friday for you today. We're gonna get into a new program that uh, Kano just released. So let's get right into it. All right, so like I said earlier, uh, Kano released uh, a new program called uh, Kano Club. It's in beta right now, as you can see. But uh, basically this club uh, releases challenges and tutorials around coding. Um, like it says every two weeks on the page. Uh, now I think as this gets bigger and maybe more popular, they're going to make this a subscription service. Um, but because of the coronavirus outbreak and everything like that, um, they have opened it up to everybody. So I highly encourage you, whether you're big or small, old or young, to uh, take a look at this if you want to get into coding. It's really cool and it's it's um, they have great great activities and they're actually really really fun to do, uh, no matter what age you are. Um, so they have uh, coding basics, um, and some art activities and stuff. Right now they just launched this, so um, they don't have too much out here yet. But the really cool one I wanted to get into was this uh, fight coronavirus with creativity um, section. Uh, so they have three little activities here, um, all uh, geared around coding, but also around um, viruses and diseases and stuff. Um, so the first activity, they just have you draw or program out um, a cell, and it has a little strand in the middle. Um, so you work with drawing circles and radiuses and stuff like that. Um, the second one makes you uh, or takes you through basically a hand washing timer so you work with a for loop uh, to basically step through steps of washing your hands which is also pretty cool um, but the awesome one that I think is um, the best activity out of the three is a social distancing simulator um, so let's click into this now <laughs> it's very intimidating uh, when you first get into it but I don't think the code is uh, really what they want you to get out of this. I think um, the social distancing aspect really hits hard in this uh, in this program. Um, so basically, this code adds a bunch of emojis on this screen over here in the right. They call it a canvas, and um, basically, it shows you how quick when no one's practicing social distancing distancing how diseases can spread. Um, and it's cool, they have a little sidebar here that you can kind of ramp up the percentage of people social distancing. Um, so if we go to 38%, you know there's people standing still or staying in place with their face masks on protecting themselves and the virus isn't spreading as fast. It still spreads, but it's not quite as fast And because there's still people kind of out and about doing stuff. Now if we go all the way to 99%, there's just one little guy going through trying to infect people um, and you see how much slower it is so it really hits the nail on the head on uh, of uh, like how important social distancing is so it really incorporates a really good message but also includes coding into that um, so like I said coding isn't huge in this so you don't need to know exactly what's going on it's really cool to mess with though you can you know change the little emojis you can change them into uh, different things, you can change colors and stuff like that and everything. Um, so it's really fun to mess with and I encourage you to kind of look into the program and see what it's doing. But like I said, the main uh, message is just to explain how important social distancing is and it does a really good job of it. Alrighty, that's all I had for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, the web address for that activity is world cano.me. Um, I hope you guys are staying safe, staying well. I love you all. Talk to you later. Bye.